What's going on, you guys? Person behind this mic here. And today, I failed to um, parody uh, Kid Behind the Camera's intro things. Anyway. But as you can see, we are about to play the Jack and Daxter collection. First time, I'm, I finally got around to playing Jack and Daxter. <laughs> Well, uh, we, we got to start it first, but before we get into this, let me take a few minutes to talk about this new ad thing, Remem and also remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Hopefully it won't crap out on me here. Sometimes it likes to go and then just stop. We'll just see what happens, though. Okay, we're good. It's a warning, so we're good. <laughs> <coughs> So yeah, uh, see the previous game I played was on here was uh, um, Tomba, which I mean those could still be coming out at this point in time. I'm I don't know exactly when I'll be releasing everything. But yeah, as you, as we can see right here, <laughs> that's if I press up and I can't go. Anyway, so we got Jack and Daxter here. Regular. <coughs> we got Jack 2, Jack and Daxter. We got Jack 3, Jack and Daxter. <coughs> but anyway, we're going to be starting with Jack uh, and Daxter for this playthrough. So it is an Anne and not an amp and not a uh, uh, whatever you call it thing. I can't think of at the moment. The symbol for the word Anne. And. So anyway, this was actually one of my very first PS2 games. Well, you know, the PS2 version of this is what I mean. I actually, I started out on, um, um, in terms of, like, like I, I personally started on one game, but I had, like, a few others that were, um, you know, the family shared thing. But, uh, if you include all of my family, uh... This, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly Cooper were actually my, or a part of my very first video games for PS2. We, we didn't get ours until like 2003, I think. So Jack 2 had come out by the time we got our PS2. <coughs> our first one. Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Legacy. Alright. Let's check out some options. Now, it's going to be a little weird to play this not in 60 frames per second. I mean, you're watching it in 30 frames right now. That's how I'm playing it, though. Also, um, but it's not going to be impossible to do it like this. Um, because I have played the Vita version. And if you know how about the Vita version... First game did thirty fr did roughly about thirty frames, and it was all right. Um, second and third one, well, just look up how the Vita version did. It, it was it was pretty bad. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. <laughs> Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay! As with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. <laughs> so, uh, I don't, um, 
basically uh, I can do that, but I unfortunately can't put it on subtitles. That 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 wasn't introduced until the second game onward. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. <laughs> I was just letting you know that. with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in detail. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. I mean, this is Crash Bandicoot music. <laughs> Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <coughs> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor <laughs> orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about the interruption. Anyway, have you listened? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the fire canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Help! 
So yeah, um, you may be wondering, why don't you play the PS4 version? Well, it's the same thing as like going out here in the water. Why don't I just go out in the water and swim everywhere? Well, because of this thing. I mean, that's that's the whole reason. I won't go in the water. Anyway, um, no, uh, but really, the reason I'm not uh, playing the P this on the PS4, which I do have all these on the PS4, um, well, I when I when I got those, I thought that they were gonna be straight ports, cause like these really aren't bad ports right here, just not quite the greatest, uh, you know, re-releases of the Jack and Daxter series. Like, well, I mean, this one. On. Well, isn't that cool? Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, the reason is because I uh, the reason I don't like. There's gonna be a lot of talking. Let's see. But um, I'm playing this on PS3 basically because. I it's it's like the best thing I have right now. I don't have the PS2 versions anymore, so these are this is the best one I have. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-grab zoomer.